Good morning guys. So today I am off to the cake and bake show with my mum and Sprout. Basically my granddad's partner told my mum about it a few days ago and she got like free tickets. So my mum was like, why didn't you say anything? Because you know Nicole would have loved to go. Like not obviously with her, but like if we'd known in advance we could have got tickets. Anyway, so we managed to get some tickets. There were still like obviously loads of tickets left. Got them for £12 instead of £16, so that was a bargain. And it's at like Kensington Olympia area. So I'm gonna go to Victoria and then get the district line to Kensington and meet my mum and Sprout there. Um, I'm kind of like a bit bunged up at the moment. Bernard was ill like last week, into sort of this week. But yeah, my outfit is literally simple. I've gone for red bodysuit, my shiny Lulus. And then I'm gonna have a scarf. I've got my gloves because it's literally like what, two degrees at the moment, something silly like that. And it's only gonna be like highs of six. And then I'm wearing my new boots that Bernard absolutely hates. Thought like the red makes the red pop. And then I'm gonna put on my black trench coat um, just because I guess that's a bit more waterproof. And in and out of shops, like I will get really hot. So like, even though I feel like I'm not wearing much, I will get hot and sweaty. So yeah, Bernard's gonna drop me at the station and I will vlog as much as I can today. After the, the show, we're gonna go to Oxford Street, I think, and do a few shops because my sister originally wanted to um, do some shopping and then we kind of ruined all our plans because obviously we're not gonna not invite her and she probably wouldn't not come. So yeah, I will catch up with you guys when I'm with them. On, Made it, guys. Hey, <laughs> mummy. Where do you wanna go? Hello, bro. Hello. I can see your world peasants. You might be like sardines. Though. Oh God. Jesus. Whose idea was it to? Just got a photo outside. Oh, I'm worn out. They do stuff over there. Yeah, demonstrations. What you need to be able to do. No chance. Bride and groom. Oh, I love that one at the back. Isn't that that art thing? Who's that artist that does that? I saw that on my tattoo show. Oh, this is Yeah, that's cool. nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at the fairy Cute. Oh my god, it goes all the way down there as well. Oh look at that, you can look. make biscuits. You can do this. Look yeah, at that. Really good. Oh, oh stop look at the houses. Well yeah. oh, this is making me want to bake now. Guys, I did not know the Vanilla Valley was here. This is like one of my favourite companies to order stuff from. Literally obsessed. I just want to buy stuff, but I ain't bought anything yet. Got nothing in mind, you know? Guys, some people are so bloody talented. Is this like the Disney one? Yeah, it must be. Are you going I'm not going to lie, I'm going to have to get one of them cakes. <laughs> What's this? Disney? I don't know what that is. Akuna Matata! Tiana? God, is that an actual cake? Bloody hell, sod carrying that here. Look at this one. Whoa. Oh, that's really good. Oh my god, look at the next Bloody one. Bloody hell. Oh look, you can vote. Yeah. I think I'd have to vote for Ariel. <gasps> look at the Alice in Wonderland one. Just because Ariel is at all, oh, look at the castle cake. Of course someone had to do that. Gorgeous. Are you getting pictures of these? I've taken pictures of my faves, yeah. I just went and got two cookies from Belle's Bakery. Uh, is this someone that was seven made that? Oh, this is the kids' competition. Bloody hell, kids made these. Oh, look at Winnie. Oh my God, look at that one. 
Mickey and Minnie Mouse, that is cute. Sometimes the simple ones are the nicest. Yeah. Sometimes. Oh, look at this one. Lumia? Sorry guys, you'll have to bear with me. I'm like trying to film, take pics. <sighs> oh, look how top heavy that is. You should have voted. I will vote, I don't mind voting. Vote for your favourite cake to be in a chance of winning. You can turn it as well, look. <laughs> Clever. The thing is, sometimes you've got to think outside the box. Oh, look, Carl. This is his Halloween. That's it, Mum. Sing it, girl. Sing it. Look, these are the kids. Look. Aww. So I guess you vote for a kids one, Emma. Mum is voting for the simple Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Go on, put it in, sis. Mum's getting two of these. Baker, aren't you, Mum? Guys, we're leaving now. Bye -bye. Oh, Carolers. 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 <laughs> I wonder if they get them in America. Guys, if you're from America, let us know. Yeah, but is it legit? Some purchases. Sprout bought a pair of gloves. And, and Mum bought tins. Bought something, you know I bought the most. I oh, it for I you. oh, no, you took your uh, fudge oh, thing, didn't you? Weeks. Your flour. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, my goodness. My scarf. So yeah, we're gonna get the train, the tube, to Oxford Street. On the tube, we're going to go to Overground, same thing. To Earl's Court, then we're getting off of there, going on the district line to Notting Hill Gate. You shouldn't look under the cover as you say that. Why should you say me And then we're going Notting Hill Gate to Marble Arch. Can you look at the camera when you say that? Why would you just say that? So guys, <laughs> did you enjoy it? Enjoy it. Um, I bought a few things, so I will give a little haul when I'm back. Where the sister wants us to get, basically. Oh come on, you bought something. Gloves. <laughs> oh yeah, brush that fringe. Oh boom. guys, I thought she's this for New York. <laughs> I think it's because you've got no hair showing. I think that's what it is. Like, what are you trying to say? I don't know, just a bit like granny fight. <laughs> Let me put it on and you can vlog me. I feel like I look a bit more stylish. Because look at what you're wearing. Yeah, because you can see the hair. Ten pound. Pay ten pound. Don't know if that's good or bad. <sighs> no, Billy being antisocial. We're waiting <laughs> to depart. Do not fret, guys, I come prepared. Hold on, where's my Billy? We love you. Love that. Where is my bloody comb? Let me in. <laughs> I can feel it. Hold on, guys. I can wait feel for it. it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, it's static. Yeah. Where is this train going? What's it to you? <laughs> right, I will vlog as and when I can in Oxford Street, but I might vlog on my phone just because it might be a little bit more dangerous there. Guys, we're in Nando's. Got my garlic bread. <laughs> I haven't vlogged because it's absolutely manic here. There's protests galore. So busy, hell, I'm leaving after this. I'm fed up. I'm on my way home and there's only one other person in my carriage at the moment so I'm going to talk quietly that was madness so we just had Nando's and I left and it's just pure chaos because obviously the protests they're like closing the stations making them exit only then you have to walk the long way round so yeah that was not fun um, but yeah I've got a few bits which I'll show you when I'm back um, but yeah I had a really good time overall my shoes didn't rub which was good and I was pretty warm as well just wearing this I mean it was obviously a little bit chilly but yeah mum and Sprout are still shopping I will just vlog as and when I can because I thought I'd probably have a lot more content but obviously I didn't really want to film on Oxford Street it's like too manic it's too busy I was getting stressed out people just walk slow they stop and stand in like most awkward places like London's just not for me anymore <laughs> what I would show you 
what I got. So you saw my hat. Oh, Han, I got you a present. Why are you playing out the book? You're talking about eight times you got your present. No, it wasn't. I forgot about that. And then I got two. Where's flavors. my goods? I don't care about Banana. all this. Don't care about all this. Yes, so I don't care. Just tell me what donut you got me. Honeycomb. Show them that. I didn't get you a donut. Show me. Honeycomb. Show me. Let's get the real POV. What do you think I got you? I reckon you got me a Biscoff donut. No, I, I didn't get you a donut. How many times? It's a cookie. Oh, a cookie. You got me a Biscoff cookie then. No. <laughs> Red velvet. Yeah. And rainbow. No, this is mine. Red velvet's mine. No, hold on, I want to take a You fucking out. got that thing and I got this shit thing. What do you mean? Look at yours, it's like a fucking sandwich. Yeah, I could cook a sandwich for myself. And you've got red velvet. Put it in, I need to take a picture of it. Ugh. That's what I got, guys. You're not nice. No. Oh, okay. I'll have mine later. Quack, I lied. I know you're lying because I know what you're like. Taste test. I didn't actually buy that much. Oh, I've got my minstrels in there. Mm. And then, me and my mum, we did um, three for 5.50, so I got a chocolate fudge cake mix. It's like. What was it? People made these cakes. It's just everything like cake stuff, shows. Tell the vlog about what you meant. And so, did I see little cuts like. Cut here, I bought some snacks. So I want to say, Toffee cake where wins. you went today, where it was. These are nice, we taste tested these, so mum got one Listen. of them. No, I'm not listening to you because I don't care where what you're saying. Where did you go? What they was know. it for? I vlogged. Oh. I vlogged the whole thing. Why was it interesting to you? Stupid little rat. Why was it interesting to you? Would you go again? Yeah, I would. I'm going to go next year. They have some other ones, and they did like bread ones as well, but. Guys, stay single. Oh yeah, she's really gonna keep that in the vlog. Good morning, guys. So I have, well, I'm on the late today, so I was filming some reels because I'm gonna do a series on my TikTok called 24 Fits of the Festive Season, and it was inspired by someone I saw on Instagram. Well, not someone I saw, someone I follow on Instagram called Hello Miss Jordan. Love her content. So I think I'm just gonna do it for TikTok um, and see how it goes. To be honest, because I'm very like bad at putting content out every day. I mean, because obviously I've got so many different accounts, social media apps, like it does get a lot. And when I'm working a full-time job and stuff, I'm like always busy on weekends and that. Um, that's mummy's jacket. Please don't scratch it up. Not that it really matters. You're being crazy. Look, retract your claws. Retract your claw, Maple. Why do cats forget they have claws? Anyways, so I did like something like a six outfit, so I need to do them all this week because it's the 27th today and I need to get them done by... I need to get like quite a few filmed by Friday the 1st because that's when it starts and I don't want to have like obviously all the same hair, makeup, location. So that's the plan. I have so many parcels coming. I've just had two delivered and I've got another one coming. Um, but I forgot I have my Grinch purse. So I'm going to change that over. This is my current lounge fly. I forgot I had it. It was tucked away in my wardrobe, all brand new sealed. So I'm using that at the moment. So I need to change that over. Um, I didn't show you the light that I installed yesterday or the treadmill. So hopefully in this vlog, I will remember to do that. I finally got my Gymshark order. That's taken forever to come because I ordered something after it and that came like the next day. So we're gonna try this on together. Got it in their Black Friday sale and I got it like super cheap. I think it came to like 54 pounds, whereas the brown one I paid for was like a total of 70 something. But yeah, I didn't really like what, well, I do need some more comfy tracksuits, but I've also um, got rid of some and I've just literally sold my Playboy one now. So I got like this color, which I thought was nice, but I had to get the bottoms in an extra large because they were sold out in a large. And then I got the top in a medium. So I'll try that on and show you guys. I also received the most exciting parcel ever uh, on the weekend when I came back from the cake and bake show, which I probably will give you a little overview, but I'm... And then I also received another Wooka, Wooka parcel, which I'm assuming is the same as the one that I showed you guys before because I don't know, they just gave me an opportunity to get two, which is quite good. And I haven't actually tried the other knickers on yet. Um, so yeah, let me open that. 
Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's just a nice teal colour. I actually never wear this colour, so it's quite nice to have something different. I got medium in the hoodie, because don't forget these are all oversized. Fits well. The bottoms, I've just put my leggings on so they do kind of stick to it. The bottoms are big, like it's the waist. They do have a drawstring which you can tie in it, so I'll probably do that. But I'm just thinking for like a casual fit, like just lounging or not going anywhere like that grey cinema. Like I can just throw it on, it's fine. Like it's a nice comfy outfit. I will say it's very thick and heavy, it's nice quality. Um, it is more like on the thin, medium thickness size, I would say. It's not like super thick. But yes, it shall do. I can't remember if I showed you my Victoria's Secret purchase. I don't think I did. Um, so hopefully Sparrow doesn't watch this vlog because she doesn't actually watch my vlogs because she's a traitor. But I got us these. Now I got a light blue one in America and we absolutely loved it. They didn't have them in the UK but they've only just bought them out. So they have all the normal colours but they have an extra two colours which is a lilac and a sage. And they had them on offer for two for £40 for Black Friday. Um, and they originally £30 each. So yeah, I wouldn't pay the £30 each. I think we paid like £26 when it was converted to pounds. So it's not too bad. But yeah, I don't ever do white. But I thought white would come in very handy. I've got like no white tops. Really like the style of this. It's super flowing. It's got like an underbust bit. And then it tapers down. It's just like a ribbed material. And this one is double lined. But obviously I think because it's white, you're going to see your bra. Got an extra large. And then I got the sage one because I absolutely love this colour. And yeah, it's exactly the same, extra large, fits very well. So I got Sprout a sage colour because I thought she, that's quite different. And then I got her a nude colour as well. Um, but yeah, they might be overpriced. They do have pink embroidered on the back, but they are very good quality. I absolutely love my blue one and I've worn it quite a few times considering I'm not a blue person. So yeah, love that. I'm going to put my raincoat on and show you guys that. Okay, so this is the one I went for. I won't go into too much detail because like I said, I'm gonna do a review, I think. I'll probably pop it on my other channel because that is my fashion channel. So yeah, I'm not going into it too much, but they are super expensive, like I said, and I really wanted one. I couldn't decide what one I wanted. And then my, and then Sprout was like, oh, go for the green one. Like I really like the green. So I was like, okay, I'll go for that. As soon as I clicked on it, my size was sold out first, like straight away. And that's what I get because I spent about 40 minutes faffing trying to decide which one I wanted but one I'm glad I went for this because it's a bit different it's a bit out there it's very bright I'm gonna wear it in New York it was the cheapest one so their coats range I think from like 220 pounds or something like guys super expensive but price per wear and investing in an, a sustainable small brand with a quality item that is gonna last you years and years I am all for so it was £119 in the sale. I did get a belt because I knew the waist might be a little bit big on me because an extra large was 38 inches and I wanted a little bit of extra room. So I probably could have got away with large, but I actually feel like this is perfect because there's not too much extra material. But they do go from an extra small to a 3X and they're looking to expand their size range. Um, but this is what it looks like on. I do feel like little red riding hood. I love it. I absolutely... I'm so glad that I bought it. Like, I do really want the green one as well, but obviously it's out of stock and I would have to wait. Um, so yeah, like I said, I got the cheapest in the sale. The belt was an extra, like, £18, but I did need it. It does have pockets. It does pop us all the way up. You've got a hood thing so you can tighten it. Like I said, the belt really cinches me in, which I needed. And hopefully, and it's not like that plasticky, nasty feeling. It don't look cheap. Don't feel cheap. It's stylish. Like, everyone in the reviews are saying they get loads of, like, compliments. So when I go to New York, let's see but yeah super flowy love it this is like my type of style as you guys know i'm very much into vintage and that's how i came across this brand so yeah that was my raincoat i don't think i've got any other purchases to show you there is one coming from miss candy floss today which i'm hoping is going to fit because i've been eyeing it up for a while since they released their lookbook back in september or like end of august and they finally released this one and it was like the only 2x that they had so I had to go off of like sizing, but it does have a belt, so I'm hoping like if it is a bit big, it will cinch me in. But yes, I'm gonna go hang that up. I do need to create a reel with that because it's so cute. Okay, so as you guys know, I installed that light and I basically needed one around here. So that is what I installed. Look at my great work. Okay, so this is where my treadmill is. So yeah, what I do, I pull it out basically because I don't want to be next to the scabby wall. Um, this IKEA unit used to be here. I don't know if I've really showed my garage before, but it's just a bit 
a bit trampy, but it is what it is. Um, we had a huge metal desk here that is currently sitting out the front to be picked up by the scrap man. And it was here and I was like, I don't really want my um, treadmill in the corner where spiders are going to love corners and cobwebs and stuff. So I hoovered it all up, pushed this down and put that there. Um, but I actually came out for a black sack. So basically I started keeping some boxes because... <laughs> You just never know when you're gonna need them. So yeah, that is officially everything I have to show you and update you on. Guys, I literally just like tidied my room, moved everything about, got dressed, and then let me close my blinds. Miss Candy Floss parcel came, so let's unbox it together. So it's basically, I don't like this line. Let's do better. It's basically a long sleeve tartan dress, has like a thingy here, and then you basically wrap the belt round. I shall put it on. I don't quite know how I would style this, like what I would wear it with. I was super worried that this is going to be big, like it is kind of like big on the arms. But like, do I really want it like super tight? I don't think so. It's very well made, it's like a nice thick heavy cotton, um, and the belt is literally perfect because on my other one I had to like I don't like it when things are like this but I might get like a clear band sort of thing and like do that so obviously you've got the collar neck the sort of like fake peplum and yeah it's actually really nice it fits very well it's defo giving like a nice vintage Victorian feel it does have pockets as well which is great so yeah good length Nice quality, just probably a little bit more on the looser side. I don't know if I could have got away with an extra large if I take off the belt, because I wouldn't not wear it with the belt. Um, but you do obviously have the option if you didn't want to, but I've only got like, well, I say only, I've got quite a bit extra. So I do really think I could get away with extra larges. So yeah, that was a good successful purchase because they're not cheap. Good morning, guys. Oh, I took my bag upstairs. I wanted to give you another overview of this dress because I just filmed my festive fits. And when I tried it on yesterday, I was kind of umming and ahhing, should I keep it, should I not keep it? And then I was thinking, like, sending it back will be ag anyway. Um, but I paired it with, like, my em emerald green heels and my guest green bag. And it does look really nice. But also, I didn't realise there was actually black in this dress. So, I can wear it with black, but obviously, it's not an obvious colour as such. So... Yeah, I do think I really like it, so I think I will keep it, but I definitely think I probably could have got an extra large, potentially. The sun is out and bright today, so yeah, I thought I'd film my festive fits before, well, it's going to be out all day, but I thought I'd film like some of my festive fits while we got good weather. So yeah, I will update you guys in a bit, I don't really have much to update you guys on. Hello guys, so I've just had my lunch, I've just had leftover spaghetti bolognese. I filmed all my thingies. I said that I didn't have any parcels coming, but one is arriving today. No, I said I might have. I can't remember, but yeah, basically got one coming today, which is from Monsoon Accessorize. So this vlog will be a lot of deliveries, but yes, I'm currently waiting for that. It says half four to half six, so I'll probably have to show you like when I'm back from the gym. Um, although it's gonna come while I'm at the gym. That's not good, is it? But yeah, my lunch is over now, so I will catch you guys in a bit. My monsoon parcel has come while I was at the gym. So I got three items to try on. So the first one I got, they're all like basically the same style tops. They're like pussy bay ones. This is nice, like, I don't even know what print that is. Paisley, yeah, paisley print, green, black. It is a bit see-through though. That's all right, we'll try it on. And it has like glitter flecks in, gold glitter flecks. Oh, we love to cuff sleeves. Do I think this is worth the money as of yet? No. I think this is something ridiculous, like 49 quid. Oh, I don't know actually, that would be probably quite nice to tuck in to like Lulu's jeans, short, well actually I wouldn't tuck it into Lulu's, I don't know what I'm saying. But it's a good length. Obviously the black is sheer. So, you're gonna have to wear something underneath, or they're gonna see your bra. But, I feel like I need shorts on or something to like solidify the look. Why are you meowing, mate? She didn't even finish your dinner. I don't know why you're being picky lately. Yeah, see, that's more a look. It's a very snazzy top. I'm gonna keep the shorts on and put the other two on. Nothing is worse 
I'm trying to get. So this one's got no. Sh oh my god, guys! A button just come off. What the hell? Right, this is supposed to be like a really big pussy bow. <laughs> How are you supposed to do these so it's like a nice, nice big? This is not going well so far. This is just um, a strong no from like the outset. Looks really nice on people on Instagram. What are we saying, guys? <sighs> yeah, this one's not very me. And the button broke. Okay, so this next one, I like the material, I like the style, the fit is really nice, but I think this material was just a bit weird, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. What do you think? Love the colour as well. So I think the only one that wins is that green one, to be honest. Like, because I'm not 100% sure on this one. So if I'm never 100% sure, I don't keep things because I don't want to waste money. I want to make sure I'm actually, like, wearing it and stuff. This one's still nice. It's just not 100% there. But I think it's, like, the look of it. Like, the look of the material. But yeah, these weren't cheap. I think all of this was 136 quid. So yeah, it's not cheap by any means. They did have these in the sale. I'm not sure if I got a discount on top. I don't think I did. But yeah, that was my little haul. Good morning, guys. So I'm in a bit of a rush because I've got to leave. But this is my outfit for work. Oh, I need to limp roll. So it's a pinstripe blazer from Primark. And then I've got my gold Skims bodysuit on because the pinstripes are like gold glitter. Wearing my leggings. I'm going to wear my new raincoat. But this is probably going to have to go folded up in my bag because... It don't like all fit on. But yeah, I've got a rush to go. So hopefully I'll vlog when I'm back. 